Rosani Zayas plays Sophie Suarez on Showtime's The L Word Generation Q, a new evolution of The L Word, which premiered 15 years ago. Generation Q just finished its first season and will be back for a second. Rosani joins me in the Variety studio. And just a warning, there might be a couple spoilers, so just letting you all know. Rosani, welcome. Hi, thank you for having me. We got to talk about this finale. Deep breath. Uh, <sighs> okay. Uh. Can we explain? <laughs> yes, sit back, please. <laughs> please sit back on this therapist's couch. Um, so we leave with Sophie uh, sleeps with Finley, <laughs> but she is still technically with Danny, right? Yeah. So, and, and they were headed to Hawaii to elope. And at the end, we don't really know what decision Sophie has made. What have you heard from the fans of the show? How, how have people been reacting? I think everyone's a bit conflicted. Like a lot of people will be like, pick Danny, and other people will say, pick Finley. And some people said that I should not get on a plane with either of them, of them and just get on my own plane and just live my own life. Yes. Which is also, you know, another option. You as Sophie also get to kind of bookend this season. The show started on your face and it ends on your face. Um, Marja Lewis, Ryan said that, that you filmed kind of like different reactions yeah. to, to based on who she picks, based on who Sophie picks. Right. So as you were watching, did you know? Did you know the face that you were making and who for? Ooh, you know, I feel like I kind of know, but I don't, I don't really know. When the L word first came out, uh, did you watch? Yes. I read somewhere that you were kind of like, sneak in late at night to right. watch it on Showtime. and Because <laughs> it came really late on Showtime. Yes. And of course, like I had school the next day. Of course. Yeah, I didn't realize how much of an impact it was having on me at the time. Mm -hmm. But then later on, I was like, wow, this, this was incredibly important. And back when it first came out, uh, we didn't have as rich of a vocabulary right. to talk about what it means to be LGBT, what it means to be queer. Generation Q kind of writes some of the things that the first iteration of the show got wrong. Yeah, I think so. I think it's it's exactly like what you said before. It's it's having more conversations and having more voices to add to these conversations that I think maybe in the first iteration it, it, it could have used more of, but now Generation Q is is really helping people walk through the world. Yeah. Yeah. And usher in a new generation yeah, really because it's it's, you're part of the newer cast, but we have the original cast, Jennifer Beals, Leisha Haley, Kate Menig. What was it like being on set with them? What was your first first day on set like with them? I mean, the first time I met them was actually in New York at the Pride Parade. And I remember like I stopped breathing for <laughs> at least a minute. I was like, oh my God, my brain cells. So I was like, wow, I'm standing in a room with these beautiful women it, it was awesome and they really took care of us anytime we had a question or thought oh my gosh can we do this like am i gonna make it through yeah um they were always there with a helping hand you play producer yeah on the show do you that. think you'd be a good tv producer in real Ooh. life i don't know i think i'd be a little <laughs> bossy <laughs> that's a good thing you, yeah? that's a good thing yes Yes, okay. you got to get things done when okay. you're a producer. So then I, so, I'd be good. <laughs> you're Dominican. Yes. And Sophie is Dominican. You get to bring that authenticity to the screen. How special is it to, uh, to be able to represent that? It's beautiful because um, I feel like growing up, a lot of people of color don't get to dive in or explore, really embrace who they are because of society and, and how things are and there's not much opportunity for people of color. And so I feel like creating characters on television that embrace who they are and love who they are and, and walk through the world like they know they can, as powerful as they can, it, it really helps people growing up say, oh, she's doing it, I can do it. So that to me is so, so important. I know that growing up, I didn't have so many people to watch like that on TV. Mm -hmm. And so doing this show now, being Dominican, knowing little Dominican girls are watching, boys, whoever, yeah. um, can relate to it in some way, it makes me really, really happy. What do you hope people get from this show? That they're loved, that they can watch this show and relate to somebody on TV and feel like 
it's okay to be who they are and love mm -hmm. who they want to love and be who they want to be, um, no matter what society is telling you on the outside. That if you really listen to yourself and follow your gut, then you'll be okay. Rosani, this was lovely. Thank you for stopping by our studio. Thank you. And you can catch up on the L Word Generation Q on Showtime. And for more on your favorite TV shows, click over to Variety.com.